once you've got Lumix Tether for streaming up and running and you've clicked all the buttons to get rid of the displays of those that I've already shown you, uh, then you're ready to start broadcasting. You need a piece of software that's going to help you do that, um, something that's going to capture this window here and broadcast that for you. I use OBS, um, it's free, it's very easy to use, and also it's pretty comprehensive. Um, so with the Lumix Tether for Streaming window running, you click on it to make sure that that's the primary window on your display. Uh, we then open OBS. Here it is, OBS runs on scenes and sources. Um, I'm gonna create a new scene here, and I'm gonna call that Lumix Tether. And in that scene, we need a feed, a source here, something that um, is going to activate when we click on that scene. We're going to add a window capture because it's that window that Lumix Tether is producing that we're going to capture uh, to broadcast. Open it up here, window capture, yes. And there it is. That's the window being captured. Yes, that's the right one. And we click OK. And there it is being broadcast onto that um, main window. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of gray space either side here. So we just crop that. If you press the Alt key and grab the red line there uh, by the red button, with the red dot rather, and drag that in. When that line goes green, we're cropping. So I'm just going to grab there and pull that in. And then with a drag here, we can just center that nicely there. So now that window is ready for broadcast. Um, obviously, OBS isn't a camera itself. Um, so we need a piece of software that makes other applications think that OBS is a camera. Um, the application that you want is that it's an add-on to OBS, and it's called Virtual Cam. Um, I've already loaded it here. Um, it's in the tools, and there is Virtual Cam there. There's a link for you to download Virtual Cam um, in the article. So once you've installed OBS, you then install Virtual Cam. Um, click there and we click Start. And you can see here it says Target Camera. If, actually, if I stop that, um, the Target Camera is OBS Camera. So that's what this camera, this um, piece of software will output um, OBS as. So we start it there. And then when you go to Zoom or Teams or whatever it is that you use, um, in the drop down for the camera selection, you'll see. OBS camera listed um, and then you select that and then it will broadcast what you're looking at here. Um, that's it really, it's dead simple. Um, it's very good quality too, isn't it? It's a lot better than your webcam. The great thing about it is that you've got all this photographic control. You can use proper lenses, proper camera, um, and you can control the, the colors um, and the exposure in the way that you can't really with a webcam. And it's free, so um, it means you can use your Lumix cameras more often too. So that's always a good thing.